Hi, my name is Dr. Vakas. Today we will discuss how to take a detailed history when a patient presents with jaundice. First of all, we will start with name, age, residence, occupation and then admission. Then comes the presenting complaint. The patient will say that I have yellow discoloration of eyes and skin. You will ask the duration and then ask the patient anything else with yellow discoloration. At this time he may say you that I have nausea, vomiting or abdominal pain from 10 days. At this time I want to share some information with you that in some cases patient does not give history about the yellow discoloration of his eyes and skin and he is more concerned about the abdominal pain and vomiting and uh, you ask the patient anything else and he does not say anything so uh, ask the, again uh, ask the patient tell something more about the disease at this time it is possible that he may give you some information that he developed the jaundice about uh, 20 days ago and uh, he may tell you about the progression of the jaundice I suggest you uh, to use this mnemonic uh, for the uh, jaundice D-O-P-I-A duration uh, <coughs> you have already asked and then you will ask about the onset you will ask about the onset was sudden or gradual about the jaundice you will uh, later on you will ask about the progression ask the patient uh, since the jaundice uh, has been started it is increasing or it has decreasing trend then comes the intermittency by asking the intermittency question you will rule out the Gilbert syndrome uh, ask the patient is there any history of uh, jaundice before this disease and then comes the associated factors ask about the fever and right upper quadrant pain if the patient does not tell at this moment you will ask the patient uh, is there any right upper quadrant pain and uh, by asking this you will uh, rule out the acute hepatitis and cholangitis then comes uh, the differential diagnosis after asking the associated factors i have divided them in uh, post hepatic and hepatic and pre hepatic causes first of all you will ask about the urine and stool color and also ask about the eating if the patient gives you the clue that he has change of color of his urine and stool you will ask about is there any history of weight loss because in uh, post hepatic causes there is the possibility that the patient have malignancy uh, like uh, CA head of pancreas or periambulary carcinomas and then comes the hepatic causes ask about is there any history of uh, use of any medication before the development of jaundice like a patient may have used uh, some drugs like uh, parastamol or uh, you will also inquire about the herbal and hakeem medications and then comes uh, acute viral hepatitis i have divided uh, in them into the two in case of hepatitis A and E, you will ask the patient which type of water you are uh, using at home for drinking and uh, is there any other family member having the same illness. Uh, then comes the hepatitis B and C. You will ask the patient is there any history of uh, blood transvein, tattoo formation, tooth extraction and uh, while uh, asking the uh, question regarding hemochromatosis ask uh, any change of color of his skin joint pains po polyuria and polydipsia and in wilson you will ask the questions uh, like uh, uh, any uh, tremors difficulty in uh, movements over the period of time any me memory changes and uh, uh, in case of uh, autoimmune hepatitis you will ask 
the questions uh, is there any history of rash or oral ulcers then comes the prehepatic causes in prehepatic causes you will ask is there family history of such disease uh, by asking this you will uh, rule out the uh, hereditary causes of uh, hemolytic anemia and then comes the complications you will ask the patient is there any history of uh, uh, bruises over the body or bleeding from any uh, side of the uh, body due to coagulopathy and uh, any uh, uh, worsening of conscious level and then if the patient uh, tells you about the diabetes and hypertension in the start no this is the time to ask about the diabetes and hypertension in detail at this time the systemic review you will start with general symptoms like uh, fever weight loss by asking about the weight loss you will rule out the malignancy and then appetite and lumps in the body a lymphoma may cause obstruction of uh, porta hepatitis so you will ask the question at this time then ask the question from head to toe ask about any loss of uh, consciousness by asking this you will rule out the hepatic encephalopathy and then any visual disturbances any uh, uh, swallowing uh, difficulty then uh, comes the thyroid any heat and cold intolerance polyuria and polydipsia by this you will rule out the diabetes and then comes the respiratory system uh, ask about any difficulty in breathing chest pain chest tightness and palpitations uh, to rule out the tricuspid regurgitation and then bowel and bladder uh, habits are very important to ask uh, by asking about the decrease urine output you will inquire about the legionary disease and then ask about any rash any joint pains so then comes the medication history if you have all uh, not already uh, taken the history of um, medications which could cause the development of jaundice you can uh, ask uh, about them at this moment so ask about the medications and then also inquire about the medications uh, which are being used these days for their treatment and then uh, surgical history uh, ask any history of uh, surgery in the past and any procedure which uh, could be the possibility of uh, this jaundice and then comes uh, the personal history in personal history smoking alcohol and extra marital relations are important in case of alcohol you will complete the uh, cage questionnaire and then extra marital relations which are uh, which could be uh, responsible for hepatitis and then uh, travel history and vaccination history is important so this is all about the history of jaundice